There was one mistake that I made as a student athlete that I feel like hurt me the worst. It wasn't because I was out there smoking, drinking, chasing skirts. It wasn't because I didn't go to class, I didn't make the grade. It wasn't because I lost scholarships. It wasn't because of any of those things, because none of that stuff happened to me. That's not my journey at all. I was always one of the first in the gym, one of the last one to leave. I was always making sure my grades were taken care of. I was always making sure that I made sure I was around people that would be my wings and pull me up, up and instead of people that were gonna be my weight and pull me down. That, that was the easy part. But the part that was difficult for me and the part that I don't want you to fall into the same hole that I see so many else, other student athletes fall in is understanding this one concept. The best thing to do is to do it. So whatever goal, whatever dream that you have, whatever, whatever that thing, pass that class with the A, get on the Dean's list, make the team, go talk to that girl, whatever those things are for you, the best thing to do is to do it. Throw everything inside of that effort of doing it and just do it. The second best thing you could do is not do it. Remove yourself from any type of liability, any type of responsibility. Don't do anything. But the worst thing you can do, what's worse than not doing it, is half doing it. Let me tell you why. So the first thing of doing it is the best because now you get to, you get to, you get to see where you, where you fall, whether it be good, whether it be bad, you get to be able to see how you measure up. You get, the honest, you, get the, you get a front row ticket to see if you're good enough. You want to make a team? Go out there and make a team. If you don't make a team, now you get to see, okay, okay, how did I not make the team? What things was exposed out there? What things were I not good at? You can only get these, these analytics. You can only get these stats. You can only get these details if you do it. The second best thing, as I said, is to not do it. Not doing it, it's easy. Oh my gosh. So many people do this. Not doing it is easy because now you can always rest on your laurels and say, hey, man, um, I could have made the team if I would have tried out. I ain't try out. It's safe. Everybody does that. Everyone has things that they know they could do that they didn't because it was easier not to. It was, and it's nothing, it's nothing lost. It's just, I mean, it's just, there's just no, there's no, there's no humiliation. There's no trying. It's just, I don't do it. And that's fine. The third one that I mentioned was half doing it. And let me tell you why this is the worst. This is the worst. <clears throat> and I learned this even in high school and even in YouTube, high school and college I learned this. And that is when you half do something, what happens is you start to think that you're doing enough to get recognition, but you're not doing enough to be the very best you can be. So it's kind of like you're gassing yourself up to believe that you're doing something, which is wasting time. Whereas if you just would have went full throttle, balls to the wall, you would have made more progress, right? Because when you're, when you're just half doing it, I'm half in, I'm half out, you're just wasting time. You're just wasting time. You're not able to see the metrics that we talked about at the beginning when you just do it. Because when you do it, you get to see the metrics of, okay, how I measure up, how I can get better. But when you're half doing things, you don't even know how to get better because you didn't even put yourself out there. Now, there's a, there's a number of reasons why you have to do things. I know the reason that I have to, uh, the reason that I was half doing things is because me half doing it, being the first one in the gym, last one to leave, just that by itself was better than everybody else that I was around. Even better than the people that were starting over me. The people that was getting more playing time. Me half doing it was better than what they were doing in the practice setting. Ever gonna make your goal with this stop and starting and stop and starting and stop and starting. And what really hit me recently was uh, this YouTube channel. If, if y'all, for those that have been rocking with me for a minute, I started this YouTube channel in 2015, late 2015. I, I pressed record in 2016. So we're working up on five, six years already of putting up content. But if I'm being honest, it's been a lot of stopping and starting, and stopping and starting. There's been a couple of times where I've, I haven't posted in three months, four months. But I've seen people that have blown up and they started in 2017, 2018, 2019. And it's funny to me to hear their stories like, you know, I've been crying and putting, I was like, Jeff, you only been doing this for two years. But they were consistent. They weren't half behind doing it. They weren't, they weren't vanilla about it. They weren't, Half one foot in, half one foot out. 
They weren't doing that. They were doing a doggone thing, and that's something I can learn from. So listen, their videos have blown up. Their channel have blown up, not because they have better content than me, not because they're providing more value than me, but because they're more consistent than me. They're not in and out about it. They're not halfway doing it. So I challenge you with anything you want to do, either do it or don't do it. But the worst thing you can do is half behind doing it.